I feel the need. The need for tortas. To celebrate the release of Top Gun Maverick, we're taking it back to where it all began. That's right, we're doing Top Gun. So stick around as I make traditional carne asada tortas and punch that throttle, because we're taking the highway to the danger zone. Seriously, Lana, call Kenny Loggins, because you're in the danger zone <sighs> from Top Gun. Just be careful. No. As we always do, let's start with a cocktail. Today, we're making the highway to the danger zone. To start off this cocktail, we're gonna add two strawberries to it. You can do small to medium strawberries, is what I would recommend. We're gonna drop those right in there and hit them with our muddler. We just wanna get these fresh strawberry flavors that are gonna incorporate into the lemonade. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three ounces of lemonade to this, a load of crushed ice. Just go ahead and top that right off right there. Just a little bit of our sparkling water. And to finish off our highway to the danger zone, we're gonna top it with a little bit of Empress Gin. I think this adds a beautiful blue topper to this. And what would our highway to the danger zone be? Without a little garnish. Now that we've got our highway to the danger zone done, it's time to start on our torta. <laughs> to start off our torta, we're gonna go ahead and add three nice strips of carne asada into our bowl here. I got these from the local butcher. Fantastic cuts. They're a little on the lean side, so they won't have to cook as much. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna add in the juice of one orange. Seeds aren't gonna hurt it. We're gonna strain this out. We're gonna let it marinate for a little over 24 hours, just so that all of these flavors will incorporate into the carne asada. We're just gonna go ahead Add the rest of that in there. And then we're gonna add in two limes. What the acidity in these limes and orange will do is it's actually gonna break down the proteins and the fat in our carne asada. That way it's gonna make it even more tender than it normally would be if you hadn't set it in this marinade. Now we're gonna cover this, sit in the fridge for 24 hours, and be right back. We're gonna go ahead and prep some of our ingredients for the sandwich. We're just gonna go ahead and take the core out of this tomato real quick, and then give it a good slice. We want some nice, decently thick slices, but you don't want it to be, it to be too much for your sandwich. Now we're gonna take an onion, take off the front, back, go ahead, Give it a nice little peel. And then we're gonna put this on the mandolin and slice it really, really thin. You want them just almost see-through slices, but be careful because everybody and their brother and their dog has a bad mandolin story and you don't wanna be the next one. Take our onion and just give it a good quick shredding on our mandolin. We're just looking for some slices that are pretty close to paper thin. Is this your idea of fun, man? Our carne asada has been marinating in all these juices for about 24 hours now. So what we're gonna do is just take it out, and we're gonna plop it right into our pan for about a minute each side, just until we get a nice medium rare cook on this. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna add a jalapeno in there. It'll just add a nice level of heat to our torta later. Now that we've let this cook for about a minute on that side, we're just gonna take it and flip it over. And let it get a nice good sear on this side. And then we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes and slice it up and toss it on our torta. All right. 
So we've gotten a decent sear on this. Not super great, nothing to write home about. But the most important thing is making sure that on your steak, you have it nice and medium rare so that it's not too tough to bite through on your torta. While we've got our steak over here resting, I've got some nice fresh torta bread that I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo to, toss it in our pan to get a nice toast on. The fat and the mayo will just combine with the bread and it'll make sure that it gives it a nice light brown crust on this. Cause you want all of those flavors to be held in your sandwich, not really soak up into your sandwich and make it a big soggy mess. While we're finishing our torta bun, we're gonna go ahead and slice up our carne asada. What you can see is this a, a nice, fresh, medium rare. We're just gonna cut this into very thin slices. Now it's time to build our torta. We've got our bottom bun here, nice and toasted up. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit of mayo, not anything too crazy. We just wanna give it a good base to hold on to all these flavors. Next, we're gonna take our avocado, just half of it, and we're gonna squeeze it onto the bottom here. It's gonna give it a nice, good blend of flavor, a little bit of earthiness to our torta. Now top that with a little bit of our fresh torn cilantro. I'm gonna add on our sauteed jalapeno. This is just gonna add a nice pop of heat to this. If you don't like spice, I'll go ahead and skip this step. Next, we're gonna add on all of our carne asada. Make sure, don't skip this. You can add as much of this as you want because this is gonna be the key to your sandwich. And I'm gonna top this with just a little bit of salt just to make sure that it has a good bit of flavor to all this steak. Next, I'm gonna top our steak with a little bit of cotilla. It's a nice Mexican cheese that adds a good bit of flavor to this as well. Next, add your favorite hot sauce. Mine for a torta is El Yucateco. I'm just gonna go back and forth. This adds a little bit of heat, but also a good pop of flavor. Now we're gonna add our shaved onions to the top of this. You can add as much or as little as you like. I'm a huge onion fan, so I'll add a decent covering there with those. Then top that, a little bit of lettuce, two to three tomato slices. I'm gonna go ahead and do three since we have a pretty big sandwich here. Next, I'm gonna hit our top bun with just a little bit more mayo. That way, it's gonna hold on to all those tomato slices and the rest of our torta. Next, we're gonna add on our top bun. Boom, beautiful sandwich. And with any sandwich, you're gonna go ahead, cut it in a diagonal, just so it's a little bit more manageable, because this is one hefty sandwich. Jeez. Having any fun yet? We've got our highway to danger zone! <laughs> and those oh, were his last words, <laughs> right I'm before God. he bled to death on the rug. And our delicious looking torta. The only way to celebrate the new Top Gun movie. And if you like this video, be sure to hit us up with a like, subscribe, and click that bell. But drop us a line down in the comments and let us know what video you want to see next on Griffith Goods and Spirits. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah. And be sure to stick around next week for my second episode of Show and Tell, where I show you one of my favorite local places this time, it happens to be Los Campos, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants as they show us how to make a burrito burrito. Now it's time to build our beautiful, pat in here. The need for tortas. Boop.